September 29th, 1954. Willie Mays makes his famous running catch off the bat of Vic Wirtz in Game 1 of the World Series. In the 8th inning with a 2-2 tie and then on 1st and 2nd, Wirtz slammed a 420-foot shot to the cavernous center field of the Polo Grounds. Mays was playing shallow since Giants pitcher Don Little was a ground ball pitcher and had to turn his back to the infield sprinting for the outfield wall. Mays made an over-the-shoulder catch and a quick turn firing the ball to the infield holding Larry Doby at third base and preserving the tie. As much has been made of the catch, Mays himself did not consider it the best defensive play he'd ever made. September 29, 1974, Lou Brock steals his 118th and last base on the final day of the season, setting the record for steals in a single season. Ricky Henderson would break that record in 1982 with 130 thefts. September 29, 1978, Jim Rice doubles and singles against the Toronto Blue Jays in Fenway Park. Rice is the first American leaguer to amass 400 total bases since Joe DiMaggio in 1937. September 29, 2004, Major League Baseball officially announces that the Montreal Expos franchise will move to Washington, D.C. in 2005. Hours after this, the Expos play their final game in Montreal, a 9-1 loss to the Florida Marlins before a crowd of 31,395 at Olympic Stadium. September 29, 1957, Ted Williams becomes the oldest batting champ when the 39-year-old finishes the season with a 388 average. That was September 29th, This Day in Baseball.